Hey what's going on guys, it is Raj here, and today we are going to be uh, recording a new video. And this new video is going to be iOS 14.2 Developer Beta 1. So apparently Apple decided to surprise us today with this update. But uh, as you can see here, it comes in at almost 4 gigabytes, which is pretty huge. Um, but without further ado, before we actually do get into this test, um, we are going to be um, at least testing uh, on the GM version of iOS 14. We're going to be testing the, um, uh, the Wi-Fi speeds and that sort of stuff too. And I know that I actually did a video similar to this just a few days ago, but yeah, Apple keeps releasing updates. So I'm trying to get these videos out as soon as I can to you guys. But uh, let's just do this Wi-Fi speed test and let's see where it gets us. So it seems like actually we are doing a lot better than we were in terms of uh, overall performance, which is pretty nice actually. That's really good to know that we're doing a lot better overall in terms of our overall performance for the Wi-Fi. Um, so it looks like, yeah, we have 262 download and then we have about almost 22 upload, which is impressive. That's really, really awesome. Yeah, so like 22.1. That's not bad for the first test. Let's try it one more time, shall we? And then after that, we're gonna go on to our customary sh Siri shortcut test that I have for it as well, so that will also be pretty nice. Oh, and looks like we have a ping of 10 milliseconds, wow. This is probably like some of the um, fastest I've ever seen it go. And I think I really know why actually it didn't do super well when I first downloaded it. And that's probably because um, like the update was just sort of on my phone at that very instant. So uh, the Wi-Fi speeds couldn't really catch up. But at the same time, I mean, the Wi-Fi speeds can vary. So this is not uh, exactly a very scientific test. Um, but it is still a test, uh, nevertheless. So it looks like upload stayed about the same. Download went down maybe a little bit, but, um, it was not a substantial difference. Let's try it one more time. We have a ping of 9 milliseconds this time. That's not bad. It's a millisecond faster, so that's good. Uh, it looks like we are approaching 200, which is roughly where we were at. Uh, just about 10 megabits short. Okay, wow, actually, looks like it improved there. 217, okay, not bad. Looks like the jitter is 4.6 milliseconds. That's not terrible. All right, we are approaching 21. 22 now, actually, wow. All right, we are over 22. <laughs> wow, 22.4. That's like the best result out of the bunch. So, um, not bad at all, at all, honestly. Like, these are the three tests. So, test one, 262 down, 22.1 upload. Um, and in terms of our ping, we had 10 milliseconds, 5.9 for our jitter. Um, and then for test two, we had 210 uh, download, 22 upload, 10 milliseconds of a ping, and then 4.4 uh, milliseconds of a jitter. Then test three, 217 download, 22.4 upload, nine milliseconds for its uh, ping, and then 4.6 for its jitter. So not bad at all, honestly. Um, let's clear that, and now let's test out our shortcut, which you guys will notice, there's another new version, 14.1, and I will take you guys on why it's on 14.1 as well. But uh, let's go through it real quick. All right, looks like that works, great. Let's go to cellular information. Looking good. Wi-Fi information. Looking good. Offline mode. I finally decided to update this and actually give it some text, so that's why you're not seeing text there. That's another part of the whole 14.1 thing. Now, um, I will show you guys, because now I just uh, did that test, of course, uh, but I am going to show you guys something on my Apple Watch. Now, I don't do this, of course, anymore, um, but now that I'm running watchOS 7, as you can see there, it might be a little difficult to actually do this, but um, I have Siri shortcuts on my Apple Watch, and uh, that 14.1 thing actually optimizes this uh, like useful information shortcut for my Apple Watch. So this is a pretty huge achievement, honestly. And I know it's probably gonna be very hard to see, um, but yeah, that is basically um, the uh, full shortcut optimized. 
So I can click any of these menus uh, and it will display them. Now, of course, some of the menus are going to be blank uh, only because the Apple Watch doesn't actually support those features, but it could. Uh, so like, for example, the cellular information tab, that's going to be blank because this watch doesn't have any cellular connectivity. But if your Apple Watch did, it would be able to detect that, which is pretty cool, honestly. And you have your offline mode here. Um, that, of course, is the same as it is on the phone. And then you have your exit shortcut button right here, which works the same way. So, pretty much the same. But that is, like, super cool, though, how um, it is now optimized for the Apple Watch. So, I'm pretty proud of that, honestly. Not to mention, this shortcut is also optimized for my iPad now. So I have it across my Apple devices, which is awesome. I love it, honestly. I love all of the synchronization. Anyways, though, back to the update, because my phone set the timeout for some reason. Um, but uh, we are going to install this update, so let's do that, since all of the customary tests are finished, and I don't want to bore you guys to death, so this video is already like almost six minutes long, so I don't want to bore you guys to death. Okay, there we go. And then it looks like it's just gonna have me agree to the terms and conditions, and then it looks like now it has started the install process. So once this is finished, of course, you guys know the usual, I'll come right back. So, see you guys in a second. Alright everyone, we are now back on iOS 14.2. So without further ado, let's log in and let's go over all of the changes. Uh, but first, we are going to obviously run our customary tests one more time. Just have to wait for all of the uh, stuff to repopulate, it seems like. Make sure everything is here. Uh, it seems like everything is here, which is good. Everything was uh, left off as it was. Looks like that episode off of itself. It's kind of strange. Alright. But yeah, as far as I can tell it here, uh, everything is here, which is good. So yep, okay. Now what we can do is, is uh, we can run through the customary tests. So let's run through our Wi-Fi tests. Let's make sure that uh, it's connected to the strongest one. Looks like it is, good. All right, this is going to be test number one. Ping of nine milliseconds, not bad. Wow, right out of the gate, it's already approaching uh, 100 something. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's getting to about 150, so okay. For the first test, that's not terrible, honestly. 148, okay, 148 down, and then this, let's see what the upload speeds are gonna be. It might be close to about 20 or so. Maybe 21, yeah, looks like it just went over 21, okay. Yeah, so about 21.7, okay. So that first test was actually pretty good in terms of its results there. All right, and then now um, it is uh, six milliseconds. Jeez, okay. I have never actually seen that before. Wow, okay. A ping of six milliseconds. That's incredible, guys. That's actually incredible. I have never seen a ping of six milliseconds on my Wi-Fi network before. That's crazy. Six milliseconds, wow. That's a very uh, awesome ping, honestly. Six milliseconds. And this actually by far is some of the best results I've seen uh, in, out of any test. Wow. Upload actually got a little bit better. I think download did too, actually. Let's run a third one. Let's see, ping this time, yeah. So ping this time is about 11, so I'd say pretty average. But it is uh, approaching almost 200, at least with that test it was. Uh, it looks like this one did a little bit worse, though, for the third time around. It's doing a little bit worse. But wow, that second result was amazing, honestly. That second result was really, really amazing. Alright, 22.2. .2. Not bad. So, upload has been staying pretty consistent. So, okay, that's that. And now let's run our shortcut test. Alright, here we go. We have 14.1, of course. Alright, and then it should load everything properly. Looks like it did. Awesome. Everything is all nice and dandy. So, later information, let's check that. Yep, everything looks good. Wi Fi information. That also looks good. Offline mode. Also looks good, of course. It's not even here yet. <laughs> and then uh, exit shortcut. 
Yep, so it looks like all of the uh, customary tests passed, and uh, now let's go over some new features. So in terms of new features, uh, we do have a new toggle in Control Center that I'm going to show you guys. So if I go down here to Control Center, uh, we have this new music recognition toggle, uh, which is really, really awesome. It's like a uh, Shazam thing, which is pretty cool. So like if you turn it on here, um, it's going to uh, basically have some music recognition. So, uh, of course, you all may know that Apple has bought Shazam, at least they've now owned Shazam for a while. So it's pretty cool how they integrated that into the control center, and now you can have it uh, like that. Not only that, if we open the Shazam app here, if I can even spell, <laughs> And then we tap on the music recognition. Of course, it's not going to come up with anything, but uh, I have heard that for some of the updates, I wonder if I can actually uh, trigger this or not, but it now supposedly has a uh, picture in picture. So I'm going to see if I can uh, trigger that for you guys and do a, sort of like a live demo for it. Looks like it did update. Let's see. And if I was 14, Shazam is. You now have more ways to name that song. Use Shazam with picture in picture to find the music in a video. Okay, so yeah, let's see actually if I have to like enable any settings or anything. I think that's what it might be, is that I have to like enable a setting uh, to have uh, Shazam go into picture in picture. Let's see if that's the case. Uh, notifications, oh, I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's see, location, I have that. Shazam on app start. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so all of that is Fine. So now let's go to the um, settings here. Let's scroll all the way down to Shazam, because yeah, it's not on there. It's on these other apps here. So let's go to the S's. I have way too many apps. Uh, looks like it does not have a setting for picture in picture. So I wonder if maybe uh, it's triggered by default. I don't even know honestly what it is. Let's see, okay, so it is listening right now, but as soon as you exit off of it, it stops listening. It's kind of strange. Let's see, so if we do auto Shazam, then does it keep listening? I think so, yeah. Because, yeah, if... Oh, I think I see what's going on here. So you have to hit auto Shazam, and then it does it in the background. Oh, okay. So maybe that's what they meant by picture in picture. If I'm wrong, then uh, maybe... Uh, my Shazam for some reason is just like malfunctioning or something, or maybe the feature is just kind of buggy. Um, but as far as notable changes, that's actually as far as it goes. Um, but yeah, really honestly, uh, those are all the like major things I guess you could say about 14.2, but one last thing I did want to say about it as well. You guys might be asking, why um, are we on 14.2 in terms of developer betas? Why not 14.1? And that's a great question because it's uh, my thinking that I think that Apple is actually going to release 14.1 to the public, like immediately, uh, most likely, or maybe like within the next week or so, or maybe even in the next few days. Uh, we could be seeing 14.1 as maybe like a bug fixing software, so it could just be like to fix bugs and maybe introduce some new emojis. I cannot wait for the new emojis, honestly. Those are gonna be nice. Um, but yeah, I think uh, mainly it's to just probably fix bugs, so they don't really need to do any developer betas on 14.1, and I think 14.2, by the time it's complete, this should be the software that ships with the iPhone 12s, um, hopefully. But uh, that's obviously up for debate, so we'll have to see about that. But anyways, though, um, that's the end of this video, so if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Also, comment and subscribe if you are brand new to my channel, and I will catch you guys next time.